Welcome back to the Plant-Based Holiday Feast. Today we are indulging on a classic treat by giving it a plant-based makeover. Get ready for the ultimate sweet and satisfying experience with our delightful date cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls have always been a beloved holiday tradition. Now we're going to show you how to create a gooey, sweet, and absolutely delicious roll with a healthier twist and we're sweetening the deal with dates. I can't wait to walk you through this recipe showing you all the tips and tricks to create the perfect mouth-watering cinnamon roll. These date cinnamon rolls are the perfect treat to enjoy during the holiday season. To begin our dough, I have a third cup of warm water that I'm going to put in a packet of yeast into. I'm going to have to cut it a little bit. I'm going to pour that in. And we're also going to add in some sugar and mix it together and leave it off to the side until it gets a little bit more bubbly and frothy. My yeast mixture is now puffy and foamy, so I'm gonna take it and pour it into my standing mixture bowl. And then I'm going to add in some sugar. My plant-based buttermilk, which is some almond milk mixed with apple cider vinegar. some regular almond milk. Canola oil and vanilla. Melted plant-based butter. And two eggs. Okay, I'm gonna crack into a bowl individually. Just stir it up a little bit first before pouring it into the whip. Then I'm going to add that in as well. I'm going to put on my dough hook now and just mix all of my wet ingredients together until it is incorporated. All my wet is now stirred together, so now I'm going to add in some baking powder and salt. And stir that as well. I'm going to move my mixer off to the side just for a little bit so I can work on sifting my dough. So I have my dough here already measured out. And what I'm going to do is pour it into my sifter for today. So we're just going to put it in and then I like to tap on the side to get our flour nice and fluffy and no lumps before we put it into our mixture to make our cinnamon roll dough. The flour is sifted now so I'm going to turn on my mixer and gradually put in my dough a little at a time to make sure everything incorporates properly. At times I will stop my dough and push down the side so that the flour that I already put in gets mixed in with the wet batter. So I just use a rubber spatula for that. Push it down, get some off of my dough hook too, and continue on. My dough is now formed, and what we're trying to achieve is a slightly sticky dough that shouldn't stick to your fingertips. So if you were to poke it, you will feel that it's sticky, but it doesn't leave any residue. So now to a bowl, I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil. And I'm just going to oil the whole inside of this bowl. And then I'm going to take off my dough hook and my bowl. Let me show you guys what the dough looks like. Nice and sticky. 
Then I'm just going to remove the excess dough off the hook. And then I'm just gonna take it out of the bowl and put it into our greased bowl. And then I'm going to cover it and put it in a warm place and let it rest for about an hour until the dough doubles in size. While my dough is proofing, let's work on our filling. So the filling is predominantly dates. And for those who don't know, this is what a date looks like. And it's actually a good source of potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus, which helps maintain strong bone health. And it's also good for if you're working out as a pre and post workout snack. It is known to promote energy boosting. So I have some washed and pitted dates here. So in order to do that, I just squeeze open the date and then you take out the seed and the little top and I just add that to the bowl with the rest of them. And then I'm going to cover it with hot water and we're going to let this soak for 10 minutes. My dates are finished soaking, so I'm just going to slowly Drain them out. And we're actually going to discard the liquid that it was soaking in. And we are going to put our dates into a blender along with some almond milk, some oil. cinnamon and salt and some vanilla and we're going to blend this together until it gets silky smooth. After blending out your dates you should be left with a nice creamy filling kind of like butter and that's the consistency we're trying to achieve so that when we put it on our dough it just glides smoothly and deliciously. My dough is done resting now, so I'm going to take some flour and sprinkle it onto a clean working station. And then I'm going to dump my flour right over, or my dough rather, right over it. And then we're just going to knead it for a little bit. Now I'm going to pat my dough until I get it into a rectangular shape. And just keep patting until the dough is about a fourth inch thick. Every time I make cinnamon rolls, it actually reminds me of my time in college. Uh, me and my best friend were uh, culinary arts majors. So oftentimes when we were in our apartment, we would make, you know, random culinary <laughs> treats and cinnamon rolls was one of them. And we would just have so much fun having our themed food nights and all of that. So every time I make these rolls, it just brings me back to that time. And that was probably, I would like to say seven, eight years ago. And we're still best friends to this day, so that is great. But yeah, I love that cooking can bring forms of nostalgia to you. My dough is pressed out, so now I'm going to take my date filling and we are going to lather it onto our dough be very generous with this because this is where all the flavor is. Now that our filling is in, I'm going to slowly roll the dough towards me to make kind of like a log. So we're just going to invert it. I have my greased baking pan beside me, so now I'm gonna take a knife 
and slowly start cutting the dough into rolls. First, I'm just gonna remove the little end. about like half inch slices. The dough is pretty delicate, so this could be a little difficult at first, but we just form them and place them whichever way they come. Because even if they look a little funny, we know they're going to taste delicious. This part does take a lot of patience to slowly get through the dough with your knife because you know it is raw dough so you know slowly but surely i'm going to cover these rolls now with some plastic wrap and wait for them to puff up a bit my workstation is clean and my cinnamon rolls have puffed up in size so now i'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven and bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes the cinnamon rolls are out of the oven and they are cooling down, so let's make our frosting. So in this bowl right now, I have some confectioner sugar, then I'm gonna put in some almond milk, and also some almond extract. I absolutely love almond extract. I literally put it in anything that will work for it. And I actually got this from Grenada when I went traveling there this year, and I am literally in love. So now we're just going to mix it together. Our icing is ready for our cinnamon rolls. My cinnamon rolls have cooled enough, so now we're just gonna take our icing and drizzle it on each one. Looks so nice and glistening and pretty. There you have it. I hope this dessert makes your holiday that much sweeter. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling extra generous this holiday season, feel free to hit that link in my description for my plant-based holiday feast e-cookbook that features all these recipes that you're learning in this series, plus a bonus recipe for my favorite butternut squash soup. See you next time.